We harvested our garlic nine days ago. Normally we like to spread it out over a few days. This year we did it all in one day because it was looking like an inch of rain the following day. We needed to get it done in time. In this video I'll share notes on how we went about that and what the whole process looked like, so stick around. First step clearly is pulling all the garlic. You can see Juan here going through. He's using a hay fork to loosen the soil where needed. But we're trying to keep the soil disturbance to a minimum. So when it's uh, soft enough, we simply pull the garlic straight out of the ground. Sasha and Juan actually developed a really beautiful system where they went down the line pulling the garlics out in an orderly way so that we could then go through for the next step of the process. Now in our case, because we have so much garlic and such limited room for curing, we've evolved into cutting the roots and the stems in the field, leaving, them, uh, leaving that fertility there, and then processing the garlic to dry at home. We'll look at these curing racks in more detail in a moment, but what you can see here are that the tops are being cut off and woven into the walkways to return that fertility and then the roots are being snipped off in a pretty quick way to leave that soil in the garden bed for whatever the follow-up crop will be. We probably will grow turnips or rutabagas or beets or carrots or beans or cabbages or something in here. We don't know exactly what yet. A lot of work in the field to do it this way, but it leaves all the fertility there and it also reduces the total volume of material we need to bring back. Because we are loading it back onto the truck, uh, we were able to actually take it out in two truckloads instead of four or five if we had all the stalk sticking out. Wonderful Misha and Ravaz helped us immensely. They pulled these entire two rows. These are two 120 foot long by three foot wide rows. Luckily we had worked up the soil so thoroughly in the fall that every last head of garlic snuck right out. They're deeply mulched, they're super fertile and very loose. Here Ravaz is wiping a little surface dirt off of some of the heads of garlic and getting them onto our curing crates, which we'll then load into the truck and bring back to cure in our garage. This load of crates represents somewhere just shy of around a thousand heads of garlic, and that fits on the truck in a reasonable way. This load we took out at the very end only is a few hundred heads, but it absolutely filled the truck to the brim. Still a tremendous amount of work to do in the garage once we got back. We dumped these on the floor with fans over them just so we could take a break for the evening. It's so fun to see how big some of the heads had developed. We're so proud of these wonderful garlics. Uh, 15 years now of growing them out with no plastic and no fertilizer, no irrigation, they do wonderfully on their own. Mm. We built a ton of these racks a few days in advance of the harvest and they're very simple. They're basically 24 inches by 24 inches and they have half inch hardware cloth meshes on the bottom and they work incredibly well for drying garlic and storing them in a vertical stack and they'll be used to store, uh, to cure and dry and protect from rodents the nut harvest that we do in the fall. So stacking functions for sure. <laughs> They fit a standard box fan really nicely, which pushes air down through the stack of garlic. After only a day or so, we went through and did a sample check, and the skins were drying down really nicely, and the soil was coming off in a nice, dry, dusty way. Sasha and I clocked many, many hours in the garage, trimming off the roots in a clean way, knocking a little bit of soil off, and getting them onto the racks so they could dry. With thousands of heads of garlic, it is not a fast process.
We're so glad we got the garlic in when we did because it just absolutely poured the following day, the entire day. This is about two thirds of the harvest and because they're stacked the way they are, it's incredibly space efficient. We have a tiny garage, but we should be able to cure with a little active fan all of these garlics. That's it for now. We'll share updates on how the garlic cures and dries, and we'll let folks know when we're ready to offer garlic through our website soon enough. Hope your harvests are going beautifully.